all right guys so in the last video we were successfully able to create our user registration as well as we have tested all as well as tested all that routes whatever we have created and and we also successfully able to issue the token from the json web using json web token package and we are sending and we were we are also created our uh, route for the for the application so once we are done now it's time to head back to our uh, core logic of this video that was to create a role based api authentication system so now i'm going to use our passport json passport jwp package as well as passport middleware in order to protect our routes so let's get started with this so what i'm going to do is first thing uh, let me quickly see if that terminal is open and everything is just fine this uh, the server is running well so we need to in order to integrate this passport middleware what we can do is simply go to the uh, in middleware directory and i'm going to create a new file called passport.js and in this i'm going to create uh, our core logics for the middleware uh, which will which will validate the token request so what i'm going to do is firstly simply say const and we'll bring in our user model so that is required from one up and we'll go to the models and we'll bring in our users the next thing is which we are going to bring is our secret so secret is in our config index.js so we can simply bring in secret equal to require one up and we go to config so we brought in our secret so now we need to bring in our strategy as well as extract JWT function which passport JWT package has in so we need to brought in we need to bring in that and that is from equal to require passport JWT passport JWT and what we need to bring in is strategy first thing and the second thing is extract JWT so these are two functions uh, these are two uh, kind of modules which will extract the JWT from our request object so let's go and then I wanna create an object const options equal to and in which firstly I will give a function JWT from request function and that will set to extract JWT dot from auth header as a bearer token if you remember this is a function which extract JWT comes from so if you remember we were when we were issuing the token in our users route or in the authentication function we were using something called bearer in the beginning so this bearer will be taken as from there so this is a one of kind of a strategy then the second strategy which i'm gonna uh, second op second variable in this second key will be secret or key which will be our secret so this is a secret or key and now i'm gonna export a function from here so we can simply say module dot exports equal to a function which will take a passport object and later I'll tell you how it's gonna work so this is a passport and now we'll use that passport.use we'll pass in new strategy strategy and in this we'll pass our options options and then I'm gonna use asynchronous function because now we are going to we are going to interact with our payload and uh, user schema so payload and then we are giving a callback called done so this is a function and I think yes that's fine so here bra I have installed this module called back bracket pair colorizer so this is helping me a lot where I have put in a lot of bracket so here I'm gonna find one user so we can simply say await user dot find 
one find by id method and whatever the payload is here it will automatically decode our token and that payload will be having all the keys in there so if you remember if you go to auth.js i am interested in getting this user id from the payload of the token so you can simply say payload dot user underscore id so let me quickly match yeah it's fine payload user dot id so this will give me a user so i'm gonna use that then block and it will give me the user and again it will be a asynchronous function so user okay so this is a user and now we'll check if there is a user we will simply say return done done with that user and no error okay so i hope this makes a lot of sense okay but if there is no user then we will return await not await actually it will be return done with null and we'll say false so false value will be returned over here and once we are using this then block so it seems that now we can use that catch block also so we can simply write catch and if in case of any error we can simply say error and let me make this quite simple so this is not any asynchronous call is made so i'm not using asynchronous await and we'll return done with null and false so let's say if any error occurs in this case in this process so we we can simply return the false false you from there and that will be automatically lead to the unauthentication unauthentic unauthorized route request so this is how our passport then one more couple of piece of advice is here you can implement a logger function over here and you can implement logger function over here to keep the track of every logs and you can use the package like morgan or uh, winston package in order to track the logs okay so i hope this makes a lot of sense but for me it's fine i uh, it's a good point so now i'm gonna go to our main index.js file which is over here that is the entry point and i'm gonna bring in our passport package from the database uh from not the database from the from where we have installed so i can simply say const passport and we'll bring in from require passport okay so we brought in that and let me reorganize the code and now we'll inject this passport as a middleware to this application so the way we can do it do is like app.use passport dot initialize and we'll pass that initialize object in here so this is one way and now we need to implement this middleware function which we have created over here as a passport gs so what we can do is simply uh, we will require that before this route so we'll require that uh, we'll go into the same directory in the middlewares and the passport and since it was exporting a function so whatever the passport has been brought in we will pass that passport over here so now if i go here and we can see there's no error that means our server is working fine and that's all right for us so no no error and now let me cl quickly close it over here so i'm going to go to the odd js now because i will be working very well over here so let's say this is a, this is an authenticated route so what will happen uh, let me pull that also the middleware we have created so i'll explain you one by one what is it doing so let me quickly go and we'll bring in instead of bringing that what we can do is simply bring it over here so we brought in that now we'll simply say passport or instead of passport we can simply say psp you can 
choose whatever name I uh, feel like uh, from passport okay so this is our passport or oh, let me make it simple passport okay so this is our passport we brought in there and now I'm gonna create a new middleware over here so I'm gonna passport middleware and we can we can use this middleware on whatever routes we can we want to protect it from the other things so what we can do is simply go here and write it this module we can write our middleware function over here so what we can do is simply write uh, we can simply say const and user auth and that will be a function which will take or uh, which will which will be a function so we can simply say passport dot authenticate and we want a json jwt type and we want a session equal to set to false and once we have created this passport middleware here so we can simply pass it auth so now we can use this card on whatever routes should be the authenticated so let's say for example this route this profile route to be is to be accessible by all so we can bring in that from there user auth and we can simply say user auth over here so now if i see and let me show you what hap what is happening over here return let's say return res dot json hello for now so if i go over here this is a get request and i'm gonna make a request to the get type localhost api slash profile and now if i make this request so i'll get simply unauthenticated oops i think profile okay users profile okay fine so now if i make this request we'll get unauthenticated unauthorized so in order to access this route let me quickly log in and get the token okay so we are getting the token and i'm gonna copy this token from here copy it go to the headers write author authorization header paste that token in there and if I send that request we get the hello back that means this route is now working fine and we have successfully protected its route so here's the catch I'm gonna make all these routes protected first of all user auth okay so now all these routes are now authenticated so now if I see I show you just a moment and let me quickly break this server because I don't want to do into this terminal instead of it I'm gonna work it over here so no more and I'm gonna show what I'm gonna do is return res.json on instead of that we can simply say console.log we can simply say console.log request object and it might crash the terminal because it's a very heavy payload like 20 mbs i guess request object so now if i make this request what will happen see this is our user request request object so it's a kind of big heavy payload over here and if you check the members in here we have something like a user's object hmm, where is that user object server url and has a lot of data in there so yeah you can see simply headers whatever the header we have passed we have over here from where it was made and what kind of this thing is there raw header and everything is there so if you look into this you will find there something called like i'm not gonna show that over here because i don't think so that i'm able to find that 
uh, let me quickly check I can yeah so you can see at last this has a user option in there the or authenticated user in there so what will happen what is happening is there like before hitting this route our user auth middleware functions in between which has a heavy dependency on here so we are passing that passport over here and extracting that JSON web token from there and then we are trying to find the user from the user by ID from the payload where we have extracted that user ID and we are finding that user from the user and once that user is found we are returning that user and that means we are appending that user to the request object and if that user isn't found in there that means if the user is null so we are returning false that means that that will automatically be an authenticated request so as you can see we have already found the user from the database and our request object already has that in there so let me quickly save and if I send this request again and you can simply say my user is found over here so in order to access the profile we can simply instead of JSON response we can simply return request dot user so this is a user object okay and now if I make this request I'll get my user back from the server and now there's one more big issue over here so since this passport field is not to be exposed in any kind of request and because it might like for now it's a secret and hashed thing but if some algorithm in future comes up which can decode that token and we can that means our password field is not protected so what we can do i'm gonna go into the auth profile auth.js file and i'm gonna create a serialize user function so con serialize Size user and this will take our user and we'll return and one more thing instead of yeah that's fine okay so what I'm gonna do is over here is this thing so we can simply say return username user dot username okay then email I want to expose the email so we can simply say user dot email ID field user dot underscore ID and name user dot name okay so these are the fields which I want to expose as well as we if you want that created at X updated at fields we can also send that also so updated at user dot digital created at user dot created at field okay so these are the fields which I want to send and this will return that and since it's a single line single line written statement so we can simply get rid of this bracket and we can also get rid of this bracket and we can also get rid of this written statement okay no that's fine okay so this is returning that right user from there and I'm gonna pass this function export it from there paste it and again I'm gonna bring it in over here so from there I'm bringing this serialize user function and I have my linters on so everything formats accordingly the according to the JavaScript functions and instead of this request.user what I'm gonna do is simply cut this wrap it in this function and paste it over here so now if I make this request we can totally get rid of this password field and you can see my new user is there without any password in there so I hope this video is making a lot of sense now so this was the way and now if you want to protect any routes you just have to bring in this user auth function and implement everywhere so that's a, uh, that's a bit about authentication authenticating of the routes but what is the catchy thing of this video is now we how are we gonna deal with our role-based API authentication system so that's a question for this now and 
So I'm going to create one more custom middleware before accessing that route in our auth.js function. So that is simply Adder DSC check role middleware. And that's a simple, very simple function which is gonna be creating a check role and that will take role roles and this will be the array of roles, whatever the role which we want. And this will take again request response and next okay so now we'll check whatever the rule is passed in there and if the request dot user object that whatever we have where you are discussing over here this request object request dot user object over here if the role is valid so what we can do is simply return if request.user.role equal to or uh, not equal to sorry roles.includes includes whatever the role was in there our request object if that is true then we are gonna return we are going to say simply next else what we, what we can do is return res.json with the status of 401 401 message unauthorized success set to false okay so this is how we are gonna work now okay so now we are going to export this function from here let me quickly copy and then paste it oops check role function and we are exporting it and now we are bringing it in our user.js file check role from there okay so let's say this is the role which is only accessible for the user protected so we can simply implement that check role we'll pass that array users copy we'll paste it let's say this is admin protected so we can simply say admin and in the same way we can simply write this thing again this is let's say super admin protected okay so these are the new routes and let's say if you want to make some common routes so let's say this is super admin and admin protected route. So let's say this route is only accessible for the super admin and the admin. So we can pass in the, uh, the second parameter as called admin. So this is no magic in there. It's just a pure JavaScript function. So this array is passed over here at that value whatever the value we are checking in here is there works fine otherwise it will just give an unauthorized and let me refactor this code a little bit more so instead of writing this whole bunch of crap whatever we have written we can simply say dot rules dot include request dot user dot role and we can simply say return
Uh, just give me a moment. I'm pretty much confused because I wrote this code a couple of days back. So what I'm gonna do is browse functions utils. Okay, so it is simply press the JSON. Press the JSON with the status of. 401 that is unauthenticated invalid or what we were getting over here unauthorized let's copy this paste it over there otherwise it will give next so this is a very simple now like one line of code in there and it is returning that thing there so this is how it is gonna work so what is happening let me quickly figure let me tell you what is happening again so this user auth is giving request again once the request is processed from here it is giving that again request object and that request object is now passed to this check rule function so which is received over here and whatever the rules are there so let me quickly go and make this route again working so let me send and this is a user login so i'm gonna now super admin login and i think what was the username password was the same for all okay so here we have a node auth application let me quickly refresh yep okay admin super admin super underscore admin okay so I'm gonna make and get the token from there which will be for the super admin and I'm gonna copy this paste that in here and let me access our this route which is over here uh, user protected route so it will give me um please pardon about my like uh, this thing so just give me a moment sorry guys uh, there was some power outage so that's why it got the video got stopped in between so this now we are going to access this user protected route so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to make this request over here and now you can find that oh cannot get user protected uh, why is that happening okay it's a post request so it shouldn't be a post request let me make a get and this also get okay so return press.json hello user just a simple string you can write your logic according to your application needs admin i just wanted to tell you this concept so i'm just writing dummy code in there super admin okay So if I make this request now, you will see unauthorized. I'm getting unauthorized from there with a 401 unauthorized request. So if I go again and get rid of this nandy mandy, whatever, blah, 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 and make this request invalid login credentials, login user, make this request again okay okay one two three four so we got our token again we copy this paste it send the request 
Okay, I think. Okay, I think I just made a request. Bad request. Oh, I am getting unauthorized. So, check roll. User protected. User, okay, you, it won't be user. It will be only user. So now if I make this request, hello user, I'm getting that route now. So in this, in the same way, all the routes are now protected. So let me make this request now again. So if I go here and put this route, make this request, API request, send, I'll get, okay, it's again, I'm making why I wrote this get request. Simply send, I'm getting unauthorized. And now if I go with a super admin, copy it, paste it, make this request. Please make sure you are making request from super admin, login super admin, okay, super dash admin, yep. I made this request, got my bearer token. I'm gonna copy this, put it in here, send request, and I'm getting okay. So I didn't return even anything from here. So return press.json super admin and admin. So it's restarting my server, I think. No, it's restarted already. Let's make this request. I'm getting, so in this way, you can integrate this authentication request and all sorts of, and you can plug in this middleware to the protective routes and to roll protective route, you can pass all those things in here as a string, array of a string. So I hope you learned a lot from this video and to help us and support us, you can subscribe to my channel as well as follow us our page on Codebook Dev Codebook Incorporations on Facebook social media. So thank you guys, and hopefully soon I'm gonna post out new more videos on this as well as Vue.js course on Udemy. So let's get uh, uh, let's make a commitment to learn programming and so. And you can support us by just sharing this video content as much as possible to those who want to learn, start, start with programming. So, okay guys, sayonara. Bye-bye.